So I've created this cute little alien. He just tilts his head up, looks around, and kind of loops back to the beginning. And what I want to do is create a material that is kind of cool and translucent looking. And if I were using a previous version of Messiah, I'd have a lot of problems because I've not lit this alien with any traditional lights. It's being lit by this probe image. And in previous versions of Messiah, translucency only came from lights. But now, obviously, there is a new feature here called Scatter um, here that takes that def you can define the amount of scattered light that's calculated through an object's translu uh, materials translucency setting. So let me just set up the material here to show you how that works. So we'll just define a base green uh, for the surface and we'll want to turn the diffusion down really low uh, to show off the internal lighting you need to make sure that the light bouncing directly off the surface is fairly low. You don't want it to be zero but pretty low um, uh, so that it doesn't blow out and look like a light bulb. Um, the other values that we'll need to set obviously is translucency. We'll turn that on to one and you can immediately see that it has an effect on the previous sphere here. And we'll need to define the internal translucent color. Um, if this were a human we'd want it to be red because obviously the blood of a human is red and when light travels through that surface you want it to be tinted red. But because this is a cool alien we'll do it bright green. So we've set everything up how it would look in a previous version of Messiah and so let's render that. And you can see it does the surface color just fine, but there's no real translucent effect. And so we'll go in and we'll turn that on, the scatter on to 1. And render again. And you can immediately see that there's a lot of light traveling through the thinner parts of the surface. And not as much light traveling through the thicker parts. Right now it's too much light going through, there's, there's too much light penetrating through. So we'll want to turn this light penetration way down. Uh, we'll put it to a tenth of what it was. And render again. And you'll see, hopefully, yeah, where the object is thicker, there's less light. And where it's very thin, there's more light. We've kind of gone too much still. Let's to 0.08. I think that'll make it look good. So let's complete the effect. Let's put a little bit of reflectivity on there. Um, to do that we'll just do a new gradient for now and hook up the color value into reflection. And we'll just make it a camera gradient. Camera for now. And we'll change the gradient so that on the very outside we want the value to be white here and then black in the middle. So we'll just turn the front black and we'll put a little bit of value on the edge. So that'll give us a nice edge gradient. We want a little bit of value in the front, not too much. There we are. So that should give us a nice effect. Cool. So now because there's a little bit of reflectivity it looks like shiny goop instead of a matte finish goop. And we've got a nice cool looking light penetrating through the thinner parts of the um, of the material. And you'll find that the higher quality settings you put on the global illumination defines the quality of the translucency. The two are intertwined now. So that's a fact. A lot of interesting lighting situations.